DJ Burns is taking the world by storm. He has the sports world in the palm of his hand. He can definitely play basketball. Part of the question has become, uh, as more and more of the national media that maybe covers multiple sports gets exposed to DJ Burns, the basketball player, they are all coming to the same exact end point. How in the world does he not have a helmet and shoulder pads on? He's a great basketball player. He's a great basketball player. But how in the world has no basketball coach or no football coach at any point in time said, you know what, man, it might be a lucrative decision for you to just see. Just see if you have what it takes. Shannon Sharp is a Hall of Famer in the NFL. Now he's a part of the media world. He had this to say about DJ Burns. Guess what? Hey, get a kick slide. I know some people that, hey, I call Willie Anderson. He could work with you. You could be a tackle. Oh, you know, yeah. they, hey, how about that? How there's about been that? a lot of guys, there's been a lot of basketball players that transitioned to the NFL there and you made go. great careers. That's okay. right. Uh, I'm not ruling that out for him. It's not just Shannon Sharp who's more of an opinion guy either. It's Jim Nagy, the who runs the senior bowl, and Tory Holt, who is an NC State football legend, both saying they've heard from multiple GMs and high level executives just asking, like, hey, DJ Burns, what are the chances? That is, that's, you know how you're having a good basketball season? When people start thinking you can play other professional sports. You know how you're having a good basketball season when people just start going, you know what? <laughs> if NFL is king, this guy feels like he should be playing for the king. He should be playing for the king of sports. It's unreal. And and you know what? It does feel like it it might work. But do you know what else I want to say? Let's not let the what could he be in football take away from the what he is in basketball. He is a really gosh darn good basketball player. Yeah, there's a what could he do, but also what he's doing. What, like what we've seen him do. He is an impossible player to understand. That's that's what I'm learning. The only way to to like not have your brain turned into a pretzel when you watch him play is to be just exposed to it for a lot over time, right? You watch him play enough. You just stop asking questions like, how do you stop that? You just stop asking questions like, what are they supposed to do when he runs into him like that? You just stop asking questions like, oh, where does he get that touch from? You just accept it. It's a, it's like, uh, you know, uh, the, the tides or stars or something, right? Sometimes you're just like, you know what? That's how it is. <laughs> I don't I don't have to completely understand why. I don't have to know all the science behind it. It's just how it is. It's like a, a Isaac Newton's laws, right? And DJ Burns' laws. It's just that's how it is. Kyle Filipowski, 7172, fantastic movement, good feet. Couldn't stick with the the 6'9, 325 pound guy. Why? That's just how it is. You know, I, I said earlier that I've, I had a bunch of people over this weekend. It's the second consecutive DJ Burns kind of experience I've had with people that haven't watched a lot of him. And I find my, my like, I like to have answers, right? I, I do this for a living. When people ask me sports questions, I like to have answers or something to add to the conversation. I find myself going, yeah, eh, just kind of how it is more often than I ever have before. I was back home in Virginia this weekend. They're asking me, like, yeah, that DJ Burns guy, like, that dude is so quick. He's nimble. Why, why can't they guard him? I'm, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Uh. Or it's like, how do you stop that guy? I'm like, great question. Yeah, it's just kind of how it is. I've been watching that guy play for two years. I don't know. You ask me a football question. It's like, well, you know, they're bringing a lot of pressure. That opens them up. Like, I have answers for that. Well, yeah. Ah, DJ. Mm. <laughs> hope he misses yeah and gets into foul trouble yeah, foul that's trouble it. that's about it it's because fatigue hasn't really had, he's playing well at the end of games recently he's the most popular player in the country here's why he's such an enigma right who in the nba who are the most popular players lebron lebron steph mm -hmm. right what does lebron do soaring dunks feats of athleticism we have not seen ever Built what like is, an adonis what is yeah the body fat percentage is different what does steph curry do shoots threes from distances we've never seen before who's the the most popular women's basketball player right now probably caitlin clark caitlin right clark easily logo threes mm -hmm. right launching from distance other great college basketball players that we remember in this era, right? It's 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 the Zions, it's the players that that can dunk and shoot and dunk and shoot. Those are the 
DJ Burns is the most popular player in the country right now. He doesn't dunk or shoot threes. Do you realize how good you have to be to captivate everyone's attention and your highlights are are the same as like the old man at the Y? You, know, you reach, I teach, spin move, pump fake, up and under. But he's doing it against some of the best players in the country. So much so that Nikola Jokic, two-time MVP in the NBA, NBA champion for the Denver Nuggets, loves watching DJ Burns, and he said as much in his press conference right here. No, I just watched it. Actually, I'm, I'm, uh, they're not supposed to make it, right? In something, and I think he's so skilled, especially lefty. I love to be lefty, and like it seems like teammates like to play with him. So that's that's Nikola Jokic. By the way, great point. He is lefty. It's, it's mm-hmm. confusing. It's boxing a southpaw. It is impossible to watch DJ Burns and A, fully understand his effectiveness and B, not let your mind wander to him playing football. (laughs) It takes two like spin moves for you to go, you know what, those feet on somebody that size. Get him into an NFL weight training program, reorganize that upper body just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And and you might be looking at a, a bookend tackle. You might be looking at, at blindside protection. Do we have to go watch the movie The Blind Side? Yeah, we just just might. Uh, just just to understand how important the left tackle is. Read the book. It's actually the book is better. But but <laughs> golly, DJ Burns is captivating the world. I was just thinking like he might be the most intriguing offensive line prospect to come out of NC State the last three years. And they've had two offensive linemen drafted. By the hometown team. Yeah, I know. Both by, I mean, I'm not even going back even. Chandler Zavala. Not even going back even with Garrett Bradbury, who's drafted Mm -hmm. first in the first round by the Minnesota Vikings. This guy's the most intriguing of all. Intriguing for sure. Yeah. Intrig. I won't disrespect, especially Bradbury, and say the best. That dude's a stud. But intriguing, right? The basketball players, like if he held a pro day, say three weeks after the Final Four, right before the draft. He, he got out there and just got down into a stance and did some L drills. I think you'd have 20-plus NFL teams send a representative. Oh, easily. Just to, to see what it looks like. Do you, do you realize how good of a basketball season you have to do, you have to have to even make this conversation plausible, to my, not make this conversation embarrassing? Right, it's it 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 feels a bit like the you know like oh what would a, a what would UConn this year do against the worst NBA team, which is a dumb conversation. The NBA team would win by a hundred, but for some reason it doesn't feel dumb to be like, could you take this basketball player and put him on an NFL team two and a half years from now, and it and it what and it won't be embarrassing. It's like, well, let's talk about it. Yeah, you realize how crazy that is. <laughs> 